So next, retrieve and analyze the data that you collected. So one thing that we ask um, the, the staff to do uh, when we work on the online WCS database is to do the data cleaning in Kobo Toolbox directly, which to be honest is not as uh, fast as doing it in Excel, but the reason we do that is because um, the, the Kobo account is directly linked to the database and the data is being sent automatically to the database from Kobo Toolbox. And so we want the data to be cleaned in Kobo Toolbox. And for that, so once you have all your data, you, oops, sorry, you go um, into your Kobo Toolbox project, you open your, uh, you click on your project and then you have a data tab and in this data tab, uh, you have you can click on the table on the left, and it will show you the table with the row data. And you have an eye to check the results, and you also have a little pen uh, on each line uh, so that you can open the form, you can do the edits, and you can resubmit uh, once you've done the, the cleaning. And, you know, because we know that this is taking time, um, this is why we insist on, uh, and this is why we took some time working on these tracks and rate form, is just to make sure that you will have at the end less uh, data cleaning possible to do. And there will still be some cleaning to do, but the fact that we use all those uh, validation criteria, you know, all those constraints, those list of choices, it will help uh, a lot in reducing the time you spend on cleaning up your data. Once your uh, data is cleaned up, um, so you can, you can access, you can retrieve, download your data, and you can see how it looks like um, on the automated reports. So the first option uh, in your data in the reports is just you know, basic graphs that are automatically generated by Kobo. You do not have much, um, uh, you do not have uh, much uh, options, you know, on how to, which graphs, you know, how do you want to display the graphs? You can change the colors, you can change the type, you know, you can decide if it's a pie chart or histogram. Um, but other than that, it's automated reporting done by Kobo. And then, so you have the row data on your table that you saw just before. You have the gallery with the pictures. Um, you can download here the data. Uh, on the download, you can export either a CSV file, an Excel file. You can export a zip file, which will contain all your images. Uh, you can export a KML file if you want to export only the, the GPS point, for example. Um, so you have multiple options for exporting your data. Um, and you can use, you know, the, the map, the mapping option of Kobo to see your points um, on, on a map. And so while we're trying to, to scale up uh, in WCS and, and now scaling it up with partners, thanks to the, to the consorci, is um, to make sure that you, know, you can have large scale data collection uh, across multiple sites, multiple countries, going into one single database um, that can automatically analyze and visualize your results. And so the idea is, so we, we created that with, um, with a former USAID funded uh, program for the environment in Central Africa. And so now we're replicating this um, to everywhere, basically, while well, trying to replicate it. And so the idea is that you have all your tablets collecting the data on different accounts. And um, you can, thanks to the sharing 
uh, options of Kobo toolbox, you can then share your forms with like aggregating accounts. So for example, we use, um, I don't know if you're aware of the basic necessity survey, uh, that is uh, uh, standard forms for monitoring well-being. Um, we have like a BNS aggregating account that gets all the BNS forms from everywhere. Um, and so you have all your, your, your uh, forms and your data going into one single account. And this account is the one that is linked with the online um, Postgres database of WCS. And to do that transfer, we work with um, a company called Open Function, OpenFN here in red, and they basically develop code so that any Kobo data can be automatically sent and organized in our WCS online database. Um, and for those who are interested in learning how to do that, uh, there are some trainings um, done by Open Function that I, the first one is starting next week. Um, and so if you want to know more about how you can, you know, create uh, a script to send your data to uh, the database, you're welcome to join. I can send you all the details. So OpenFN sends uh, automatically all the data into the database. And then the conservation technology team uh, can work on building queries that will allow you to visualize uh, nice graphs on the WCS uh, website. And so the screenshot that you have on the right here is an example of a platform that was developed under the, the USAID um, funded program uh, that ended in 2019. Um, and so now we don't use this platform anymore, but um, we use something that is going to be much more sustainable because it's under the WCS um, um, database and website, and uh, we will have the same for partners uh, for the console side database too. So if you're not convinced yet, <laughs> I just wanted to, um, uh, to remind you know some of the advantages of using Kobo so you know how on paper you, you can have so many mistakes uh, in data collection because some answers are not filled or there's, there's a wrong spelling um, and then there are mistakes in data, and, in data entry sorry because it's sometimes difficult to read uh, and you're just so tired after hours of you know typing data into Excel you're just so tired that you don't realize what you do and it, it's just too long. It's just wasting the, the time um, of WCS agents who could you know, spend their time much, uh, in much better ways. And, and data, data might get lost quite easily. Um, and you know, when we, when we started using Kobo in Central Africa, we were just amazed about how, you know, how much time we could save. Um, and this time can be used to just think better about uh, your research design, you know, what you want to, um, what you want to collect the data, what you want to analyze. So it's, um, so yeah, you save a lot of time. Uh, there is almost no mistake in the data collection. If the form is well designed, that's something that we need to work on, but it's possible. You can start analyzing right after you collect the data. Uh, data is safer unless you uh, the, the device is broken or stolen, but generally it's, it's safer. And you can uh, link your data very easily to, uh, to online databases for analysis. So the point of today's presentation was not, uh, you know, to show you everything about Kobo, because there are so many, you know, options, uh, millions of uh, question options type constraints of ways you can create forms and um, it's going to take time for everyone to you know to fully understand all the possibilities I've started using Kobo uh, I don't know four four years ago and I'm still learning I just learned when we were working on these tracks and raise forms I learned that when you have very very long list of choices for example they have like you have I don't know hundreds of species of sh sharks and rays and when you have those very long lists, you can use an option to 
that's called auto field, where you can type in the first letters of your species, and then it shows you uh, the species corresponding to those first three letters, for example, which is super uh, helpful. So the, I mean, the key is to just try, try, go on Kobo, practice, try out your forms, try collecting data and use all the resources available online. Um, you are very lucky, everybody who is here can understand English. Most uh, Kobo resources are in English. You can basically find everything you need online uh, to learn how to use Kobo. Um, the Conso site developed a guide that is in, in five languages, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Bahasa that can be downloaded um, sorry, that, can, that you can download here. There is a help center from Kobo Toolbox with many, many articles for each step um, of how you create, manage, edit forms, edit data, uh, put, create your own server. So everything uh, you know, is available on this help center. If really you can't find your answer on this help center, there is an amazing community forum um, so you also have to create an account here and there are lots of people who are willing to help. They're usually very uh, fast at responding. So every time, you know, there's something you don't understand, you have a problem, you can't find the answer on the help center, just go on the community forum. Um, you also have this very detailed and well done uh, guidelines on how to create an XLS forms. And because uh, Kobo Toolbox is based on Open Data Kit, you can also use the very extensive guidelines on ODK, which are here. Uh, I've put you a link to an online course by School of Data, and the CIRAD also have a learning box. Um, you have tons of YouTube videos, and this one, <laughs> this training is going to be the next one, I guess. Um, and um, if you want to learn more about the code and if you want to play around with the Kobo code, you can also go on GitHub um, to develop, you know, your own version of Kobo and learn, you know, how it's how it was built. So thank you very much.